Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of the Heroes Chronicle series. This is Conquest of the Underworld, and we are Knight, Tarnum, Sylvia, and Cuthbert. Or Cuthbert. I can never figure out how to say it. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's probably not fine, but we're going to pretend that it is. Why? I don't know. We just are. Alright, they are awed by our power. That's good. They should be awed by our power. Our power. It's fine. Anyhow, let's murder you. Um, I guess we wait. We murder you? Probably? No? Not, not, not quite, huh? Alright, we kill you with this guy? Yeah. You all two stand no chance. Well, we never want basic diplomacy, because that's just not my style, as Adele from Disgaea 2 would say. I don't like it very much. I do not know, sir. Ooh. Ready looking fellow tells you, pay a visit to the Hall of Sins, just to the south, and you'll thank me later. You'll need to visit at each week until you have enough gogs to satisfy the seer who needs them. Oh, that's good to know. Money! I want money. Yeah. Alright, so the Halls of Sin are going to be a requirement for us, apparently. Apparently. Alright, so we got plus one to our spell power. And... Eh, hmm. uh, a slimy green blob comes flying out of nowhere and sticks to your armor. Your men are soon covered in it. A pack of imps appear laughing and taunting you as they fling more of the stuff from their noses. Oh, lovely! Enraged, you attacked. Oh, we just got Booger attacked by... Well, they do have large noses, so I suppose it does make sense in a way. Doesn't make me any happier about getting Booger... Boogered? Boogered? Boogered. But, eh, it's fine. Oh, I suppose it's... It's, it's not... It's not okay. It's really not okay. Oh, goody. We can learn a secondary skill that we may regret. It's always fun. All right, what do we have over here? I'm still trying to store up enough for the the castle, huh? Do we have anything that requires only wood? I'm gonna say probably not. Everything requires stone. Yeah. Yep. Everything requires stone except for the Brotherhood of the Sword, which I never build, but I guess we might as well build it now because, eh, makes me feel like I've accomplished something. Oh gosh. Oh, hello. Hello, random purple guy. We suggest, as a spokesman for my advisors, that you hire as many heroes as you can afford in order and order them to constantly patrol the tunnels. No doubt the enemy is crawling through these caverns like cockroaches, and they have about as much honor as a bug as well. They're bound to try to sneak up on us. Well, I don't think that's going to be a problem. All right, this might be bad. Oh, no, that's perfect. I like basic tactics. All right, cool. You're... Um, excuse me? What's, what's, that? I, are, mm. huh? Is there, are they ally? I don't, I don't understand what's happening. But they certainly don't seem to hate us much, I guess. I'm very confused. So, perp, well, I mean, we did see... We did see that, like, everything the purple guys were doing, so, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense. But it doesn't... Oh, we, we can't actually go... Oh, you blocked me off, lady. That's not cool. What did you need from me? I talked to Winston this year. What did he want? Oh, darn. I don't remember. Well, I guess we're gonna go talk to Winston this year again. Bad Bumpy is bad. It's been a day since I recorded the last one. Not even a full day. Like a half a day and I already forgot what he wanted. Eh, comes with the it comes with the territory. Oh, hold on. I don't need to go all the way back to him, do I? Reach level 10 to open gate. Hmm. I don't necessarily need to go back to him. Kuthi, what are you doing, bud? Oh, sweet stone. Oh, sweet, sweet stone of mine. That's a lot of sweet, sweet stone of mine. I like that. Yay for the castle! That's right, I said castle. Spell, overemphasizing the T. 
Castle. Castle? Castle. It's fine. Alright, I, I, maybe the green guys are bad guys and the, the, the purple guys are just allied, I'm guessing. I was all I was all mocking them for a little bit there. I, I don't I don't know what's happening. It's fine. All right, let's kill some hellhounds. Yay for hellhounds! Dying, dying. Hellhounds dying. Yay for that. Yeah, I know how the tactics phase works. Thank you. But I appreciate your candor. Your candor attitude. <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, we don't need spells. Come, face me, dogs of doom. I shall slay you. Maybe. Eh. I'm a little concerned about this guy. Alright, I'm a little concerned about actually most of these guys. Oh, that was the worst. Alright, let's say good day to you. Don't think we'll kill you, but we'll definitely hurt you. Yeah. Eh, it's fine. Come along, make me sad. There you go, you got two of my archers, four of my pikemen. Eh, it's worth the experience, I suppose. I want the advanced artillery right now. Well, getting higher levels of spell prowess is not bad. It's also necessar not necessarily good, either. I'm gonna skip that witch's hut. There's no way we get lucky to two witches huts in a row and it's not something terrible that we regret getting hmm yes I would like to purchase a war machine thank you how did you know I don't care about the other ones all right there's another monk thing over there which is pretty cool and we can finally go see what this seer wants a horde of familiars are dancing around the cavern ahead passing a shiny helmet from one to another as they play some obnoxious game as you approach, the one wearing the helm shouts, It's our helm! You can't have it, you pale freak of flesh! We'll tear you limb from limb before you get your smelly paws on it! Well, they seem upset. A little bit. A little bit upset. Alright, well, if we wait, wait, attack... Oh, wow, that was actually more damage than I thought it was going to be. Wait, Moida, defend, and Moida. All right, there we go. Simple and easy. Oh, there's the helmet right there. The Helm of Heavenly Enlightenment. You dis your discovery of the Helm of Heavenly Enlightenment could not be more welcome. It is a wondrous helm that adds great power to the abilities of any who wears it. No wonder the familiars wanted to keep it for themselves. Holy crap on a cracker, that is a lot. Alright, so basically it gives us plus four, or sorry, plus six to all four of our stats. That makes Cuthbert quite significantly more powerful than he once was. You have no idea what this elderly knight is doing down here, but he doesn't seem to be in a hurry to leave. As you sit to talk, he explains, 50 gogs are not so difficult to find in these parts. But I don't feel very interested in wandering about, dangerous creatures lurking in the dark, you know. As I get older, though, I need some protection from those blasted imps that plague the tunnels like rats. If you do the dirty work for me, I will give you the surcoat of counterpoise. Then again, if you want to find the boatman, you may have to give me those gogs anyway. Okay. Well, that's the thing. We have a capital now. Our money problems should more or less be over. Not that we were really struggling with the money just yet. I feel like... I should almost go and help the guys up north. Oh, there's an orange enemy over here somewhere. Oh, I'm going to steal your uh, imps. No, I'm not. I am not going to steal your imps at all. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little concerned with my current positioning. We cannot take that fight right now. Not even sure we can take this fight, but we're certainly going to maybe possibly try it. She, she has spells. Hmm. Oh, I think I just made a terrible mistake. Define terrible. Define mistake. Define might have. And you're regular gogs. You're not even the super gogs that we need to destroy the universe. This is going to be rough. Alright. Well. 
Things are looking super fun times right now. I think we still can do this. It's going to be close, though. Alright, let's do that. I think we can trade the one hit. Yeah, it's fine. I was expecting that. Let's see, we have another magic blast of doom here. Sweet. Alright. Ooh, that's pretty good. I like that. I like that a little bit less. Survive! Survive! We did it! Okay, good. That was a, li a, little, a little rough. Alright, that was not, that was exceptionally rough. That was not an easy task whatsoever, but we managed it. We did, we managed it. Alright, so at this point now, we can start looking toward upgrading things. You know, the first two things we should upgrade are the ranged units, as always. Alright. So at this point, we can now go and acquire some additional monies and other various things. Ooh. Hmm. Things are going rather well until one of the old timers began uh, begin began talking about Ryan Griffinhart's campaign against the barbarian tyrant. He spoke of Griffinhart's bravery, how he stood before the tyrant's massive army and challenged the brutish king to single combat in order to prevent even more carnage. The barbarian king was stronger, taller, and blinded by a rage that seemed unquenchable. Using skill instead of fury, Griffinhart gutted the stupid savage. Those were his words. The old soldier continued, explaining how the barbarian army must have thought their king was invincible, because when they saw that he fell, they lost all hope and ran. I had to bite my tongue to keep from speaking out in my defense, and when their words got to be too much, I walked away. One thing is certain, that old soldier will be digging latrines for months. Yeah, but is he wrong? I feel like that's a no. Oh, we are coming up to something here. One turn away from being able to take it in one shot. Darn it. Um, I'm going to take this, and then I'm backtracking to get some troops. Because we desperately need them. Hello. Ten gems, huh? Yeah, sure. Ooh, expert earth magic, yes. Alright, and back over here. Bam. Enjoy. Alright, let's end our turn. I'm a little concerned that... Uh-oh. I'm concerned of many things right now. Oh, they got troops in there. Darn it. Like I said, we were literally one step away from a defenseless town. It sucks that they got some defenses up, but eh. What can you do? Cry a little bit. Do a little sniffly stuff, so it's fine. Alright, let's begin. Who are we going to get hit? Yeah... Boom! Well, we did break through. Um, well, let's just take you out now. This will come up here. Can I wait off of that? I can. I love that. I love that I can wait. What about us? No? Oh, we get a round two. Alright. Still not enough, huh? There we go. And I'm pretty sure that we don't have enough to kill all ten of the hellhounds in one shot. Oh, we all... Two shots. His counterattacking. Okay, so that's good. That's good. That's not bad. His defense didn't help him a whole heck of a lot. Oh, goody. This actually has the full contingent right now. We're on day two, so getting the castle isn't that important yet. I will increase our power ability here. Would love it if my troops and I met back up. The unfortunate reality is they did just empty most of the units here that were for sale. Which I guess is okay, but now I'm worried that I'm going to walk the wrong direction. 
Oh, look, we found the enemy hero. That we may or may not be able to defeat. I don't know. Also, I don't know what's over to my east. There's clearly somebody over here. They are awed by us. Well, oh, good. They can be. Alright, hopefully this orange uh, mamma jamma isn't going to be too difficult to deal with. Come forth and prepare to die, fool. Defend, defend, defend. Defend, defend. Wait. Defend, wait. Shoot. And kill. Alright, there it is. Alright, you are actually quite weak. I'm going to end you. I'm going to end you right now. Probably. Probably going to end you right now. Uh, not too bad. Alright, so we have expert air magic, huh? Let's say good day to you. Hey, let's move here. You're gonna hit us with some sort of spell and then run? No, you didn't run. Huh. That's interesting. Whatever. Good whittling. You whittled me down a bit. Alright. Yes, you are on your way back because you are pretty much going to die. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta stop here. Pretty much going to die a horrible, horrible death if you don't. So, yeah, we're definitely going to be doing that. Okay, and ending now our turn. Oh, that's good. The lines of communication are open once again, and Queen Allison's first message is more than just a letter. Dearest Tarnum, I am grateful for your continued help in finding my father's soul. He was a good man who fought honorably and died honorably. Knowing that things must be difficult, I have uh, taken up a collection from the nobles of my father's honor and have sent the proceeds to you. Please find my father soon. Her familiarity startles me, but I realize that I feel close to this bold young woman as well. Nice. Well, it does look like you are not long for this world, Khalid. And I also have a pretty bad feeling for you that... We're going to kind of crush your soul here soon. Like, you don't have another town, is my guess. I could be completely wrong here. So I feel like you are not long for the world at all, like, in any way. I get 50 of these guys, huh? We're up to 16 for now. Alright, let's snag that. Let's grab this and make our way over here. And yes, we will meet up with Tarnum, and we can give him our troops, and then we can take over the Inferno troops with Cuthbert. I think it's going to work out okay, as long as nothing comes to take us over in the meantime. Yeah, oh no, my allies are gone. That's not good. Alright. This is a more, of a more of a fair fight. I mean, it's still not fair, but it's more of a fair fight. Well, my allies killed themselves off, and they didn't hold their town, which I find to be just absolutely absurd. Um... We have a decent amount of troops. Let's blind you, so we can just focus on other guys to start with here. You led with a haste, which I find to be odd. An odd choice, to be sure. Fair enough. He survived it. Alright, they're gonna be able to reach me though. Oh, not with him, however. The doggies got me, right? Yeah, we lost one. Oh, we lost a monk too, that's not great. Fair play. Scoot down here. I'm going to take a shot onto you. I guess I should probably utilize some of my magic. Say good day to you. Oh, that wasn't enough. Who knew? I thought for sure I had that. He'll waddle a little bit closer. We'll take you out. It's a trade off between you and him. You are not getting the better of that. I think we've got that with our ranged people, just fine. Uh, we'll defend, we'll get a bit closer. Actually, I think with everybody at this point. 
No reason not to. And we'll defend once more. Alright, so let's take you out. And your final hurrah. I said good day, sir. And that should vanquish orange. Advanced earth magic, I'll take it. And it is. Alright, so we just kind of traded there. Huh. I came down here years ago to study the difference between angels and demons, but the demons keep escaping from their cages. Crafty things, I'd like to get a hold of the Shackles of War, though. Now, I am aware that you are in desperate need to see the boatman, a personal friend of mine he is. I happen to know you'll need the Archangel that I captured years ago to see him. I'll trade the Archangel for the Shackles. That sound fair? Looks like we have a deal. I will take it. Alright, so there we go. That is a thing that we have done now. And you, my lovely lass, are going to go gather up the remaining troops that we need. I, I'm assuming maybe I had something I needed and he gave me the shackles. I, I, I really don't remember specifically what went down, but... When we finish up this map, ladies and gents, it's going to be it for the... I won't say the series, but for this little run of Heroes Chronicles, then we're going to hop back over to HOM 6, I believe it is. We'll play through that, probably finish up the map that we're on there, and then we'll hop back into Heroes Chronicles, and then back over to HOM 3. I know I repeat this a lot, but just in case anybody's just starting with Heroes Chronicles uh, Conquest of the Underworld, and they haven't watched any of the other HOM stuff, they'll know what my plans are and why the series falls back. But I do try to do a HOM, a HOM video every, well, like five days a week. That's the current plan right now. Doesn't always work out the way I hope, but we're, we're pretty good about it right now. We're, we're doing okay. Alright, so now we're going to have to deal with green branching out and doing horrible things. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Alright, well, I think Tarnum's going to need that hat. We'll go with that over there. But we'll still give Cuthbert all the troops right now, even though he's going to be trading out soon. We'll let him go take this fight that he's about to take on. Oh, I can't do that. Hold on. And then once he goes to do that, then we'll swap back. So, let's have him take the fight. They should be in awe of us. And they are. We have the Ankles, we have the Angels ready to go. We also have Haste ready to go. The Angels are going to go up here. I thought about maybe using an actual bolt. In hindsight being what it is, I should have done that, but I didn't because I'm bad, apparently. Oh, I wish I could redo that. I could have resurrected all of those dead guys. Darn it. I am a dumb person sometimes. Well, whatever. You gotta live with your mistakes. It's been a while since I've had an Archangel. I totally forgot that they have the ability to resurrect. It's a little awkward. It's a little awkward. Not gonna lie. Alright, so you're gonna get all these wonderful troops. And we are gonna head back and probably get these upgraded probably going to be the case, I think. Yeah, probably going to be the case. Alright. Kuth, you go that way. You, friend. Um, there's no reason really to go back the other way, so I guess you can come up this way too. Uh, the Mage Guild is now on our to-do list, I guess. Castlegate, birthing pools, it's not day 7 yet, so it doesn't matter too much, as long as we do it before day 7, which we should be able to do. Alright, let's go ahead and take this, let's go ahead and get some Griffins as well, and we'll make it back right around the 7th day, and we'll be able to get upgraded troops, and then we'll be able to swap the unupgraded with the upgraded, and it'll probably work out okay. Probably work out okay. Let's go snag this up. Yeah, I know it's kind of like a contrast of styles here, but eh. We're gonna do what we got to do to make it work. Oh, what are you doing over here? Mage Guild level 3, why not? 
I'm sure somebody could use that. Alright, I guess I'll do the birthing pools now, just in case I forget later. We're about out of time. I'm going to try to do a couple more turns, because our turns are going relatively quick at this point. But we're going to be running into some problems pretty soon, unfortunately. You know what? Ah, I wish I didn't do that. I say you could probably go up and claim... It looks like a wood pile there. Like, that's what that is. It's a wood pile. Let's go to you. Alright, anything else I need to know? Probably not. Let's go here, upgrade you. Back on this side. I don't care. Yeah, I guess I should do it. Alright, well, we'll do the, the Mage Guild level 4 here. I mean, she doesn't necessarily need it, but maybe Cuthbert finally makes his way back here. The good old Cuth gets back here and he gets it. He's like, yeah, wait, we need gogs. Do we need upgraded gogs? Magogs? I think we only need 50 regular gogs, and I think if we get the upgraded ones, that's going to be bad juju magumbo. So, we'll see if that's actually the case or not. Oh, goody, 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 goody. Lots of, lots of troops here. I am a fan of lots of troops. Okay, so this should be pretty good to bolster Tarnum. I feel like our, our extra armies are falling behind a little bit here. Yeah, I figured that was the wood place. Makes sense. Oh, the green army's gonna start heading out soon. That's gonna be bad. Marletto Tower, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll attack this. This is pretty much where we're going to end it, though. There's not much left to do, unfortunately. Defend, and just ranged attacks galore. And done. Well, oh, there you go. Easy enough. Okay, it's a new week. We're gonna go here, and we're gonna snag us up one of these. I was kind of hoping that we could finish this uh, map this episode, but unfortunately, it looks like it'll be at least one more. Not that I'm complaining. I just, like I said, I, I try to gauge or judge where I'm at, and I just sometimes don't quite get the right thing. It's fine. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna snag this up. We do have the Estables, so that's gonna be pretty good. We get this, we come back down and get ourselves upgraded some more. Along with some more troops, and it's gonna be pretty good. What is it that we're missing for the hellhole? Mage Guild level two. Alright, that's cool. Alright, we shall recruiteth all of the, the troopeth. And it is going to be a sweet a sweet and nice, yes. Uh alright, the imps didn't get upgraded, right? No. Uh, okay, we're, we're okay. I guess we can go check over here and see if there's anything that way. And on this side, we are done. This city needs nothing more. No more stuff. Alright, well, folks, that's going to be where I break it. Oh, not quite yet. It has taken a few days for me to compose a response to Allison's letter. Her praise of her father followed so closely on the heels of the old soldier's tale of my death at the hands of Griffinheart has left me angry. I still remember the pain, still feel it in my belly some nights when I go to bed. And yet, they talk about me like I'm some sort of monster from a child's story. But I pick up the quill, dip it in the ink bottle, and shake my head. It's not fair to blame Allison. She didn't choose her father. So I write, Queen Allison, things are going well. Do not worry, we will find your father's soul soon. Thank you for the additional supplies they have helped in the construction and recruiting costs. Please send my regards to all those who have helped. I sign only my name, perhaps a little short and cold, but it's all I can manage right now. Well, there you have it. Alright, folks, that is going to do it for this particular episode. In the next episode, look for me to meet up with um, Sylvia and Tarnum, getting some troop transfer going on there, and then have, uh, I'm going to guess, Sylvia probably run back with our unupgraded troops, get them upgraded, and come meet us again while we kind of linger near this area and uh, this area here, keeping them at bay, and then heading up and dealing with the uh, remaining nasties that exist. 
We're close. We're close. I'm still a little concerned about green because he does have access to two towns, whereas we've only had access to one and some other random troops. But I, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. All right, folks, until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>